And after they finish their march, they set up tables where people could gather information. They also have postcards that people are signing to send out to senators or the White House. A family-owned restaurant here in Las Cruces, Thai India, shows their support for immigrants by having a tagline at the end of every receipt that says they make America great. Most athletes who suit up in helmets and pads like this are usually men, but these women say that's no reason why they shouldn't be able to express their passion for a sport that's dominated by men. It's huge. Grew up on it. Favorite song? Uh, friends in low places, it has to be. Friends in low places where the whiskey drowns. On Saturday, people started arriving at least two hours before the 3 o'clock concert. They call themselves La Muerte de las Cruces. A tough group of women who aren't afraid to get dirty and bruised. The team got started last July when head coach Billy Avalos held tryouts. He said he's doing it in honor of his mom. My mother was my biggest inspiration, a strong person. And, you know, if she can do a lot of things and influence me the way in a positive, why can't these ladies? And they're showing it every day. Most of the time when you hear of women's football, you think of lingerie football where women dress in sexy outfits. But this is the real thing. Most athletes who suit up in helmets and pads like this are usually men, but these women say that's no reason why they shouldn't be able to express their passion for a sport that's dominated by men. These girls all really want to play football and they like the full contact, you know. I think most of them really like the aggressiveness, you know. A lot of these girls are very aggressive and they're, they're strong girls. Why not? It's, it is um, definitely um, doable, you know. We have so many women here that are mothers going to work, going to school. Like many of the players on the team, quarterback Aaron Boyd has a full-time job. She sells real estate. She's also a full-time mother and wife. But it still takes some getting used to. It's kind of like weird because I don't want no one hitting my mom. We don't walk on the and now mom becomes a football teacher as well as dad. I think it makes us closer because we can like bond now over football stuff. To show girls, young girls, um, that they can do anything. They can do anything a man can do. Um, to be able to come out here and play full contact football and to be able to take hits um, just shows them that they can do whatever they want to. Head coach Mark Track couldn't keep his excitement off the sidelines as he called for a timeout to give some of the last home game instructions to his five seniors. For the five seniors, it was a bittersweet night. They won the game, but they'll never again walk onto the court of the Pan Am as a team. These girls have been a part of my family for the past four years, and I've been with them 24-7 for four years now, and it's going to be... It's going to be a little sad not seeing them every day. The experience of the seniors has paid off, winning back-to-back -back WAC titles in the past two seasons. This year, they're number one in the conference with a 12-game winning streak. Uh, we just, uh, we, you know, we've had a five, five seniors that have really done a good job, so we're doing, we're doing what we need to do. The winning streak is not the only milestone. Senior guard Mariah Mack was last week's player of the week. She scored more than a thousand points in her four years as an Aggie and hopes what she's helped build will last for a long time. I just want them to know to, you know, continue building the legacy, you know. I love playing here, I love playing with them, and I'm going to miss playing with them. And for parents of little girls, this team is special. Their favorite, of course, is to see, come see the women play, so we, we favor them over the, over the boys, so it's fun. It's fun to be here. For the seniors, the season has been a step along the way to even better things. Tamara William won't be on the court next season, but she'll be on campus to continue her studies. I'll still be here. Um, and then after, we'll see. I might get coach, I might go overseas. We don't know yet. Whatever opens up, we'll see. All five seniors were on the court together when the final buzzer sounded. It was then they could hug one another and accept the congratulations of all those who supported them along the way. For News 22, Cristal Corrales.
Kimo Jaramillo and 30 members of his family came all the way from Santa Fe to see Garth Brooks. But one stop he had to make before the concert was Caltown Boots. He had to find the perfect boots for his wife. The wife is getting some boots. I have mine at the oh, hotel. So yeah, ready I'm ready to go, yes. Yeah. Jaramillo was not the only one in search of the perfect country outfit. Sales associate Jacob Egg says they've been really busy. Towards like concerts for like the Garth Brooks concert or music or country music festival, there's a lot of a lot of sales going on there. And you can't go to a concert hungry. The restaurants around town said they've also had a boom in business. Since like 9 a.m. Yeah. And they mentioned that they're going to Yeah, a lot of people out of town uh, from uh, Alamogordo, Albuquerque, Hatch. Ah, El Paso. Kathy Rivera and Ruben Rivera said they're going to the 3 o'clock concert and couldn't wait to see Garth Brooks on stage. It's huge. Yeah. Grew up on it. Favorite song? Uh, Friends in Low Places, it has to be. Friends in Low Places where the whiskey drowns. On Saturday, people started arriving at least two hours before the 3 o'clock concert. This is my first time. I'm really excited. We were trying to avoid all the traffic. We got to make sure we get in there in time to see Garth. I love him, I know, but I don't know the song. I don't know him until I hear him. Together we're building up a real hot hand. And now that Kimo and his wife have the perfect boots, they're ready to do a little dancing. Cristal Corrales, News 22.